everyone, it's Sammy from Scrap Masters Paradise and today I have a Costco Photo Center photo prints review for you guys. I finally got my December pictures printed and I used Costco Photo Center. So I wanna talk about um, the process and the problems I had along the way and give you guys some tips for getting the best prints at Costco Photo Center. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So I did actually end up having some issues with my first order. This is my reprint. I placed two pretty large orders, as you can see here. I picked them up, had a problem with them. They both had to be reprinted, and I ended up printing off like some test ones. So what I did was I ordered these the day before, picked them up. That night I realized they were wrong, so I did a test order. Um, to see if what I thought was the problem was actually the problem. So Costco has an option called color correct or auto correct, and you can turn this option off. So I was thinking that was probably my problem. I had been reading online um, and trying to figure out what the problem was. My photos just came out super dark and really, really high contrast. The colors were all a little bit wonky and they definitely were, were wrong. Something was wrong with them. And so what I did was I printed the same couple of photos using um, that autocorrect feature, which is automatic, and also turning it off. I'm hoping that you can see the difference in these already. So this is the front sheet that they give you. They give you like a thumbnail thing, and already this one looks darker. If you could see that, hopefully you can see. So we're gonna just kind of flip through. They might not be in the same order. So here is the exact same photos, and these ones are much darker. These ones are much lighter. It just seems like the contrast is really pumped up on these and they do end up looking darker. You can see between these two, this one's lighter. This one's just, it's darker. It looks way more overcast in the sky. It's just not right. Like her skin looks way too dark on this one. My skin looks way too dark. You can see the creases on our faces a lot more in this one. There's like redness on her face that's not really on her face on this one. So the, definitely the coloring is changed on this one, whereas this is the, um, the right one, the corrected one. Actually, this one's hard for me to tell which one's the darker one. I think it's this one because this looks a much more um, darkened, much more contrasted than this one here. These ones look about the same. I do think this one's a slight bit darker. So I'm going to set this one as the yes and this one has the no. So anyway, it is a little bit subtle on some of these. A lot of these are outdoor photos, but it was noticeable enough even on the outdoor photos. So the ones that are correct are the ones that have the autocorrect turned off. So if you're ordering from Costco, especially if you edit your photos, you're gonna wanna turn the color correction off. And so these are my corrected photos. I really wish I had done a video um, of the incorrect ones. These ones just were so, so dark, uh, way darker than the difference between the photos that I just showed you guys. So looking at these, I see this photo is a pretty dark photo it's an indoor at night photo, and it's pretty dark here, just looking at it. It was so dark, it was kind of hard to see her face in the other ones. So a lot of these indoor ones, you know, they're already a little bit dark to begin with. Um, so it was just darkened so much that it was hard to see them. Um, so anyway, I really do love how they look. These are their luster, which is their matte finish. I really, really love how they just turned out. They look so great. And you get the option to add the white border. So all of these in this order came from my computer. They weren't cropped down or anything. They're all the four by sixes. And I had them add the white border on these four by sixes. So all of them look like that. And they are just, they're beautiful how they are now. They look really, really good. They look like how they looked on my camera. And I'm really pleased with them. The color corrected ones just looked so, so off. And these ones look really good. Like that photo is beautiful. Some of these Christmas ones, it looks like, you know, I used a nice camera for these photos because I did. <laughs> I used a really nice photo. I, I used a really nice camera on these. I'm just flipping through. These are all Christmas photos. And so like this one, the colors look right. You know, you can see the green, the yellow, the red, the pink, purple, etc. And the other one, they 
just looked wrong. Like the yellow looked orange, the orange looked deep red. It just wasn't right. So I'm really happy with how they turned out now that I got them, um, now that I had them reprinted. So moving forward, I definitely will turn off that autocorrect every time. And so here's the other order that I put together. And I kinda, kinda wanted to show you guys this video because it's gonna be how I use my photos moving forward. So um, in combination, I'll have four by sixes with the white border and then the little collect app photos done like so, the little boxes around them. I will do a video on these again. I had done one a few years back. I have more stuff to add to that video, so I will be redoing my Collect App tutorial video and talking about it a lot and how I'm gonna be using it. So I did all of, I printed all of these on my phone. They do have a Costco app, but the problem with the Costco app is you cannot change the autocorrect the color correcting. You can't change it on the phone app. So if you're going to be using Costco for printing, you're going to want to use your computer to upload your photos to Costco for printing because then you can change the color correction to off. There is a setting on Costco's website where you can change your photo preferences. So I just have it automatically set now to the luster photos, which is that matte finish and then taking the color correction off. So I don't even have to toggle with those features anymore. It's just gonna be automatically done for me. But I just wanted to share these with you guys because their photos were super cheap and I really like how they turned out once I figured out you just need to turn off that color correction. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit rambly. I kind of lost my train of thought in part of it by looking at the photos, but I wanted to share that with you guys because it is a really nice, affordable, way to get photos. Definitely for store pickup, you have to be a Costco member. I'm not sure for if you order photos online, I'm pretty sure you still have to be a Costco member. I think you have to enter your Costco number, but I wanted to share this with you. They did not charge me extra at all for the white border. That was just one of the features with the four by sixes. I had over a hundred photos in this pack, so they were 14 cent prints, and then these ones were 17 cent prints. So 17 is their normal four by six price. And then if you order a hundred or more, um, the price goes down. So I think it's really, really affordable. I love how the prints came out. I've been ordering online, but I find that annoying to have to wait so long and have to pay shipping a lot of the time. So I was trying to find some place and Costco just came up when I was looking for good photo printing places. I have had problems with Walgreens also doing color correction and messing up my photos. So I don't use Walgreens anymore. But I thought this was a great option and I wanted to share it with you guys. So give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of information videos and be sure to subscribe. Next week I will try to put together that collect app video for you guys and walking you through my process for um, doing my little 3x4s like this. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.